So Global Rallycross is dead. They killed it yesterday with perhaps one of the worst uh, press releases I have ever read. One of the biggest and most unforced errors I have seen a modern motorsport company make in perhaps the last 20 years. Uh, it's that bad. So let's read it and uh, see how they have killed the sport of rallycross in the United States. Red Bull Global Rallycross announced today the 2018 season launch of the Red Bull GRC Gold Class. An evolution of the series GRC Lights Class from previous seasons, the new Gold Class cars will debut aggressive bodywork with strategic mechanical upgrades designed to tighten up the field, highlight the skills of the drivers, and make for an incredible show for the on-site spectators and broadcast viewers alike. So if we're reading between the lines here, uh, they are announcing that they are souping up essentially the equivalent of the Indy Lights for the Rallycross. Now, of course, the GRC Lights, as they are known, are a spec car that resembles a Ford Fiesta. And this GRC Gold Class car is very much the same deal. And here is what that car looks like. Now obviously again, very much a Ford Fiesta, uh, and it's not particularly the most inspiring uh, or inspired rally car I've ever seen in my life, but uh, that's not the main problem of this. We are giving the sport of rallycross back to the drivers with the gold class, says Colin Dine, CEO of Red Bull Global Rallycross. By creating a more closely matched generation of top-tier rallycross vehicles, the Gold Class will provide a platform where our drivers can highlight their driving skills and create even more dynamic racing for the fans. So here we go, we get this corporate line BS that you always hear when a series decides that spec racing is the way to go, and it's no exception here. I find it fascinating, absolutely fascinating, that people can get into upper level management at the highest levels of the sport and completely misinterpret what auto racing is. It is not a stick and ball sport where the football or the goalpost are arbitrary things that are just means to the end. It's motorsport. The car matters. It's not just about the drivers. I'm sorry, but Scott Speed and Tanner Faust do not sell nearly as many tickets to an event as a Subaru Impreza or a Ford Fiesta do, especially in rally car racing. For the 2018 season, the Gold Class will replace the supercars. Now, if you don't know what the supercars are, they're essentially what the sport of GRC has been built on over the last 10 or so years. They are your Volkswagen Beetles, they are your Ford Fiestas, they're your Subaru Imprezas, they're your Mitsubishi Evos, even though they haven't really been in the series for a long time, and your Honda Civics. Guess what? They're gone. All of your favorite car brands are now gone, wiped clean from the slate. They will no longer compete on Red Bull Global Rallycross races for next year. I hope you like generic Ford Fiestas because that's all this series is going to be from now on. Red Bull GRC will continue to revolutionize the motorsport landscape by introducing a 2019 new purpose-built rally car known as the Platinum Class. The Platinum Class will serve as the premier series to complement both the Gold and Polaris classes that are already competing. More information on the Platinum Class vehicle will be announced later this week. So from reading up on this, it seems like the Platinum Class is going to be an all-electric uh, series of the Global Rallycross series. And some people have said that this is going to not be a spec series. They're going to allow manufacturers to produce cars for this. However, the verbiage and the use of the singular version of the word car seems to imply to me that this is also going to be a spec class. So essentially, GRC went from a very interesting uh, mix of uh, automotive technology to now you've got one class of spec uh, not-so-fiestas, you've got a spec uh, electric car, and you've got spec Polaris buggies. Um, wow. This is textbook. This is textbook how to kill a series. This is one of the biggest 
motorsport blunders I have seen. And it's an, a completely unforced error, and it's amazing to me because if you look at racing, or if you were to look at racing as a stock market, and if I was an investor about five years ago, but even you know you think like ten years ago when they were very closely associated with the X Games, Global Rallycross I felt was one of the fastest growing, uh, highest potential racing series, not only in the United States but across the world. They had everything. They had the cool cars. They had cars that were close to the road-going uh, counterparts. They had uh, s stellar drivers, spectacular drivers. They had big sponsorships, very colorful liveries, colorful uh, and uh, very much investor-heavy sponsors, particularly from the uh, uh, energy drink side of the thing. Yeah, obviously Red Bull sponsors the series, but you had like Rockstar and Monster Energy and all of them coming into the uh, show as well. So I looked at this and, and I honestly thought that Global Rallycross was maybe going to be one of the premier series within the next 10 years. And suddenly here we are. And I, honestly, I think they've killed it. I think they've killed everything that they built and this is just so sad to me and it's especially sad because I never even ever got to an event like I would watch on TV and it said you know what I want to go see that one of these days well unfortunately the series that 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 I watched and and certainly enjoyed quite a bit is dead they've ripped the soul out of it uh, so uh, moral of the story, I guess, on this one is, you know, if you see a motorsport you like, support it, because you never know when they're just going to completely change it. Um, so my point ultimately is that it's amazing to me that people in charge of motorsport don't seem to understand the core values and the core tenets, the building blocks that make motorsport better than your general stick and ball sports. There's a reason that motorsport has an appeal. It has the passionate fan base behind it that you know maybe you don't see so much in golf or baseball or football. It's because of the cars. And when you take away the special nature of going and, and cheering for a Subaru Impreza, I drive a Subaru Impreza. So the fact that they took away the Subaru Imprezas, they're not gonna come back if there's an electric series. Uh, the, Subaru doesn't build any electric cars. So you take away the brand loyalty to Ford. You take away the brand loyalty to Subaru. You take away the brand loyalty to Honda. You're left with some drivers that maybe 10% of the motorsport world has really heard of in a big uh, capacity. And certainly casual people maybe have heard of Ken Block. But Ken Block kind of exposed himself to the motorsport world when he went to WRC uh, a couple years ago. So... You look at this and, and it's, again, one of the biggest motorsport blunders I've ever seen and it's happening right in front of our eyes. So let me know down in the comments what you think of the death of the uh, Global Rallycross. Do you think it can be saved? Do you think that there's anything that can be done? Do you actually think that this is a good idea? Because surely there are some contrarians out there that say, oh yeah, it's spec racing, it's perfect, it's going to save auto racing. Let me know down in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe for more motorsport content and we'll see you in the next video.